Good evening and what is Kai Fu here today have a video for you guys. Today's video will be based on the formats we have at the moment. Uh, some people, this is mainly for the America player who hasn't had the game yet until uh, Friday the 13th which is this upcoming month. Uh, so yeah, um, in this video I'll be talking about the Origin format, Bifrost format and uh, Origin Bifrost format. Uh, so pretty much just formats that to explain to each player they don't know. So like some people are confused, some people are uh, confused about this format and this format and so on like I'll explain each one of them and so on so let's get on with the video guys in this video I'll be talking about each of the format we have mainly in the uh, in the Asia area and Ocean area the main format for like big tournaments we have origin format and I'm pretty sure like Italy, uh, United Kingdom are playing Bifrost format at their, as their main, but I'm not quite sure now. I'll explain the main format. There is no such thing as a main format for us. It depends on what your local store area want to play as a main for format. Bifrost and uh, Origin format are the both official formats for you guys to play, but it depends what format your local area wants to play. For us, the big event for us is that it's always Origin Format because uh, what we believe is that uh, Origin Format is the uh, the original format that Forza will uh, try to attempt to make. Why I'm trying to say this is because like back in uh, 2012 and 2013, uh, late 2012 and early 2013, Forza Wheel was announced and it came with Light Break. Now these are the oldest set for us to play uh, in the Bahala series. Uh, so what the, what it means is that we play with light break and I believe that light break is the main format we should play with because that will keep what forcible TCG is forcible TCG with light break mechanic and so on. If you take out the light break mechanic which in, in, in bright force format, it doesn't seem like forcible TCG. You just mixing with force, forcible TCG card without light break mechanic, making it, it like making it just like Magic the Gathering mode. So what's the point of me playing forcible TCG? If the light break mechanic is not in there to keep away from like WoW TCG, uh, Magic the Gathering, and so on, they're all similar concept. Like example, um, WoW TCG, you have blockers with protectors. Magic the Gathering, you have uh, you can block and attack and so on. Like the really similar concept, but the thing is, why should I play uh, Forcible TCG when the light break, uh, when the mechanics are almost similar, but the light break mechanics different? So that is your opinion to pick on. You can pick on Bifrost, you can pick on Origin. Completely up to you, but I prefer Origin format for me to play. Moving on, what is Bifrost format? Bifrost format, you can only use like a certain a set or a certain block to, to make a deck. So let's get back to Origin format. I'll explain what how this Origin format works. Origin format, you use the light break mechanic along with the older series, the current series, and the future series comes out. What I mean by that, that what I mean by that, that you can use the Valhalla series, which is the Dawn of, of the Valhalla and the War of the Valhalla, in to make a deck, along with the current set we have at the moment, which is uh, the Crimson Moon series and the Two Tower series. So we can use all these four uh, booster blocks. We can use all these four booster set to make into one deck, but in the Bifrost format, you we cannot use the Valhalla series, but we can only use anything related to the Fairy Tale series. So, for example, the Crimson Moon series and the Two Tower series has been announced. These are the Crimson Moon. Uh, these are the Fairy Tale series. So we can use these. But in Bifrost, this is like rotation. Once the uh, Fairy Tale series ends, like for example, you end at one point, maybe on the fourth block. Once it ends on the fourth block, when the new series comes out. All these cards are rotated out, and the new series will be whatever the series are. Uh, it could be Deity series, War God series, Warrior Knight series, whatever on the line. So these will be rotated out, and for something else. Uh, so pretty much that is the uh, pretty much like tradition format in the WoW TCG rotation format in Magic the Gathering. And as for uh, and Origin format, like I said before, there's no uh, there's no rotation. You can make any decks you want with all these current set we have at the moment and the future set. So for example, if the new series comes out, we can use the new series with these uh, with, to make a deck out of it. Hope that guys makes sense for you guys. So that's the difference between Origin and Bifrost format. Um, most people are, are either play Bifrost or Origin as their local area. It depends where you want to play the most. So yeah, uh, what else is there to mention? Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, Bifrost Origin. Bifrost Origin is pretty much using the uh, Bifrost ruling without the Life Break mechanic, but using the Origin ruling using older set series to make a deck out of it. So for example, um, I can use the Bahala series, I can use the Crimson Moon series uh, into a deck, but without applying the Life Break mechanic. So that's literally the difference between the uh, from the other two formats. But uh, Origin Bifrost is not in an official format. Uh, for us to call it Neo Standard, but Origin Format is not an official format for us to play, so it's not like a real big of to uh, tournament to play with. Uh, it is either Bifrost or Origin Format. That that's the two main formats you, you, you guys should get keep up with. Uh, I don't know when the America will get the Valhalla series, like these ones. The Valhalla series are really really small boxes compared to the compared to the uh, Crimson Moon series and the Two Tower series. Uh, the Valhalla series are really really uh, small. You only get 15 uh, packs per box, so it, it's not that like com not really that amazing compared to uh, compared to the uh, Crimson Moon series and the Two Tower series. We have 36 packs, but a lot of older cards are required if you're playing the Origin format. For example, Kiss of Death, if you're playing Black, Flame Lancers, if you're playing Fire, um, Wash Away, if you're playing Water, Force Drain, Wind Cutters, uh, whatever for green. As for Light, you'd need your, like, I don't know what the Light Hell Light needs. Uh, Auto Retirement as well, like, that's for, like, what they need. Like, they like they can say they're staple, but not actually, but they are the really good cards for, the, for those colors. So, yeah, like, something like those on those lines. Now, the origin format, that's how we play it over here, but it's completely up to you guys. Uh, I don't think I can explain much in each format, that's literally it. Uh, besides that, um, that's all you really need to know. Like, origin format is pretty much you can find with the Valhalla series, Crimson Moon series, and the Future Set series into one that applying the Light Break mechanic. Uh, Light Break mechanic I already mentioned in my uh, tutorial video. Uh, you can go and check it out if you want to. Uh, I will update the tutorial video later because there are some ruling being mentioned that it's been uh, changed quite a while. Like for example, there's no more call phase, no more uh, penalty light for J rule of dying and so on. I'll, I'll make an update video for that later uh, because making a tutorial video again is kind of a pain just saying. And then for Bifrost format, you can only use the current uh, series like the Crimson Moon and the two tower into one deck at the moment and then maybe the next set and then the following set after that but after the uh, series ends like for example like completely stop with that series the new series comes out you make it by frost out of that and the, the crimson moon or the fairy tales series will be rotated out of that format so that's how what i think so yeah that's uh, all i need to mention for this video uh, not much to speak today uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you hopefully you guys understand what are the difference between Bifrost and Origin format and uh, Bifrost Origin format. There's not a lot to be explained besides that. You, you want me to talk about drafting format then sure, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows what drafting format is. But that's literally it I need to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you again next time. Peace.